So, good morning students. In this video, I will be discussing on the different types of routers or routers available in Cisco Packet Tracer. So, before going to the types of routers, uh, first let us see what is the use of a router in Cisco Packet Tracer. So, a router provides a connectivity between two logical networks. So, whenever you want to transfer data from one network to another network or from one node to the another node, so we need what is known as a router to find the path. Okay. Every router in packet tracer can be switched on or off by using the provided button, power button. So, just I will show you where exactly that power button is available. So, this is what this is called packet tracer. So, here you can go to networking devices. There you can see the first option router. There you can see the different types of routers are available. You can see here. So I will just show you one of the router. This one 4311. Just I will double click. Here you can see the power button. I will just zoom it. Here you can see the power button on and off. If you click here it is off and this is here on. So this is what the power button available in Cisco Packet Tracer for the router. Okay, so that's what. So the power switch is required to make a device simulate its real counterpart. Modules can be added or removed only after powering of the device. So whenever you want to add any modules in the switch, any configuration, first you need to switch off. After adding, you need to switch on to make it to work. So these are the various types of uh, routers available in uh, Packet Tracer. So the first one is uh, Cisco 1811. So this is an uh, integrated service router having two fast Ethernet ports, two slots for high speed WAN internet cards, we call it as HWICs, and one slot for AMI, that is Advanced Integration Module. So second we have Cisco 1941. This is similar to the previous model, but uh, runs in Cisco iOS version 15. It has two ports that operate at gigabit Ethernet speeds. So 1841 and 1941, just I will show you here. So here you can see that. This is what 1841 switch. Okay, just if you double click, it will give the complete configuration what it will, how many ports are available, all those six power button, all those, okay. So next we have Cisco 2620XM, this is a multi-service router with one fast Ethernet port and two slots are available for, uh, that is what uh, HWN, so that is the WAN interface cards and one for AIM, that is Advanced Integration Module. Next we have Cisco 2621XM, this is similar to the previous model but except that uh, this router has two fast Ethernet ports. Previously we have seen that we have only one fast Ethernet port here but here we have two. Next we have Cisco 2811. This integrated service router comes with two fast Ethernet ports, four WAN interface card source and a, a dual slot for advanced integration modules. Next we have Cisco 2901. This router has two gigabit Ethernet ports, four WIC slots and two DSP slots, that is digital signal process slots. This router uses again Cisco iOS version 15. Next we have Cisco 2911. This router has 3 gigabyte Ethernet ports and all the other features of the previous router only. So it runs in iOS version 15. Next we have very important that is generic router PT switch we call. So this is a custom uh, router running on Cisco iOS. So it contains 10 slots and has separate modules with a naming conversion beginning with PT. You can name as per your convenience like a, a PT empty switch, a PT generic switch or a PT a port switch. Just I will show you this uh, PT switch. Here you can see that uh, I will just delete these two. Here you can see the router that is here you can see the PT router 2, PT MT. Similarly we have PT router 1. So as per your things the naming ceremony is available. So these are all some PT switches. And here you can see the PT MT switch. You just double click, you can see all the uh, configurations which I told. So, as I already told you, 
first you need to power off if you want to do any uh, configurations just i will show you where is the power button here you can see the power button is available you just switch off then to the module configuration as per your convenience then you can switch on and then you can close it so in this way uh, you can just configure the router and then you can go ahead so these are the various types of routers that i want to tell you so here you can see 4331 which i should uh, explain till now 4321 1941 2901 2911 8191 0x and then we have pt router then we have pt switch 8 uh, router 8 14 2620 xm 2620 21xm and 8811 so these are all uh, some different types of routers we have uh, to work in packet tracer so uh, whenever i am explaining how to build the labs so i will be using all these routers during that time i will tell uh, how exactly these routers will work okay so hope so you enjoyed the video thanks for watching and subscribe my youtube channel for more videos bye